I have a question. Do you think you could complete 100 laps of this cathedral? Doesn't sound too tough, does it? What if I told you that doing that would be just over 50 kilometers? That's 37 miles. Doesn't sound quite so easy now, does it? I imagine your reaction will probably be somewhere along the lines of, why would you do that? Well, let me explain. 100 days ago, I said this. Today is day one. My intention, and this video is for accountability, is to put out 100 videos in the next 100 days. And to celebrate hitting that target, thinking about the times that I thought it wasn't possible, or about all the times when people told me I was crazy for even trying it, I figured I had to do something that was, something that was befitting the huge accomplishment that doing 100 videos in 100 days actually is. And here I am. Today, I am going to attempt to walk 100 laps around this beautiful cathedral. Thankfully, the weather looks like it's on my side. It's not gonna be warm, but the sun should be out all day. A balmy 12, 13 degrees. It's gonna take a long time, a really long time. So do you know what? Enough chatting to you, enough of this long introduction. Should we get on with it, shall we? If you watched my video last week where I wrecked this ridiculous challenge, you will know that this this block here, by this front door here, that is my start finish line. Every time I press that, there's a lap. It's five past seven in the morning. Let's begin. There's the cathedral front door for the first time. And there is my turnaround point. Lap one complete. Lap one done, let's start lap two. I guess I should probably give you a little bit of um, insight into plans for the day, thoughts, etc. It's a pretty simple plan really, just keep walking. If I feel like running later, I will do maybe one on, one off, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I've got some podcasts and audio books to keep me company. I know there's some people coming to pop down and say hello at some point, but it's just getting it done really, keep walking. 100 times. That first lap took me just over five minutes. Thought that's worth. But hey, you know, let me look at this place. It's just staggering, isn't it? And as I said earlier, the weather's on my side, so it's a beautiful, beautiful morning at seven o'clock, just outside Gloucester Cathedral. Lap two. Complete. That is lap four complete. And I'll tell you something, I don't know if I'm going mad, I'm gonna test it now, but I feel like walking this route anti-clockwise seems significantly easier, quicker, I don't know. Like I said, you totally imagine it, but if that is the case, there might be a few more anti-clockwise laps than there are clockwise today. Gotta to take the uh, positives where you can, right? I think this guy will give me a lift. Right, you're not gonna hear from me for a little while. I'm gonna stick an audio book on and try and get some miles done. I'll come back to you in a bit, in case you're interested in what I'm listening to. The new book from Robert Galbraith, AKA JK Rowling. How stunning is that? Beautiful morning golden hour. That is five kilometers, no, not five kilometers, five laps even. Getting delirious already, I've only been doing it 25 minutes. It's gonna be a long day. Lap seven, done. Lap eight, complete. Lap nine, complete. And that? 10 laps, 6,600 steps, five kilometers, and 55-ish minutes. And you know what that means, don't you? That means it's gonna be a long day today. Long day. Looks like my first guests of the day have turned up. There's Helen and poor old Holly, is it sick for school today? Looks like I'm gonna have company for about a quarter of a lap. Wanna say hello to everybody? Hello. Just about to see the moon. 
I have really got lucky with the weather today, that is for sure. Could have been a lot worse. Thank you for dropping my provisions off. Bye, Holes. Helen has just been to visit with my daughter Holly and giving me fresh provisions, a bag. My planning, as poor as it was on this exercise, one thing I did get right was I packed two bags. One, lightweight essentials for the first sort of couple of hours this morning. And then Helen's just dropped off another one with some more provisions and she also brought me a coffee, which I am most grateful for. Nice to see them. On with plod. Flat. 13, I think this is. Sun is out and that is lap 16 complete. I think I'm gonna try and get to 20 and I'm gonna stop for some breakfast. Sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? Lap 18. Two more to go, then breakfast. I am starving. And that is lap 20. Time to get a second breakfast. And in case you're after a status update, 20 laps, just over 10 kilometers, 13 and a half thousand steps and two hours. So one fifth of the project took two hours. So therefore, this can take 10 hours. Oh my dear. And that's not even including pit stops. 10 and a half hours, 11, I don't know. It's gonna take longer than I thought, that's for sure. Anyway, time to head to Cafe Luke for a bacon roll and a coffee. And there he is, the man himself. Look at that for a bacon sarnie. Get yourself to Cafe Luke. Okay, second breakfast done. Coffee for the road. I'm just crack back on again. I always find when I do these sort of things, long distance things, I'm not sure whether the upside of stopping and having a break is worth it to get that momentum back going again. But I feel all right. Bacon sarnie was delicious, in case you're wondering. Stop again, I guess, halfway, 30 laps time. Does that sound about right? Yeah, come on in. That is 30 laps. Currently just over 15 kilometers. And we're going for three and a bit hours. It's kind of mad when you do walking challenges. You think to yourself, how hard can walking be? And it's just, it's just being on your feet for so long, I think. The repetitive nature. Like I've run marathons before. I don't know, it's weird. I can't explain it, but some, for some reason, it feels like 10 hours walking is significantly harder than four hours running and I know there's probably some of you out there who think that's bananas but it's kind of what I think I'm currently on lap 37 and as you can probably imagine walking around this beautiful place there is an incredible amount of history None more so than this little square, Miller's Green, which obviously I've walked through 37 odd times. And the history in here is a little bit incredible. I mean, look at this old building, for example. And this is the Dean's house, like something out of Bridgerton. And I've just been having a lovely conversation with the guy who lives there, Lloyd. Lovely to meet you, Lloyd. He told me that it was built in 1741. Can you believe that? And it looks incredible. Really, really incredible. As does this one up here. See that house? Arch. The arch. As a fairly new resident of Gloucester, I'm kind of really in awe of all this stuff that's here, all this history and all this fabulous architecture and stuff. And this little bit of my walk is my favourite. Sun coming down, you come around the corner, out of the shadows, straight into bright sunshine, and it is glorious. Whew. Anyway, enough chatting, more nodding. That is lap 39.
That is the midday chime in. Just gone midday and that is lap 47 completed. I'm gonna lie, my feet are starting to hurt a little bit now. My legs ache. My hips and glutes. But it's the feet that are hurting the most. As David Goggins says, growth only comes when you're out of your comfort zone. And whilst I am no David Goggins, I am firmly up my comfort zone. On we go. Lap 50. I'm feeling it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do another three quarters of a lap and then I'm gonna head into the cathedral to get myself a sandwich and a loop break. So there we are, 50 and three quarter laps and I'm gonna head into the monk's kitchen, grab myself a sandwich. And on the last couple of laps, I've been thinking about how I'm gonna do lunch. And I think I'm gonna grab and run. Let me do that and I'll explain why. Give me a minute. Lunch purchased. Gonna go back out through the cathedral. A little sneak peek. Here's a little fun fact for you. Not this bit, but this bit down here. Where they filmed a little bit of Harry Potter. That's the cathedral. So grand, isn't it? I've said many times, it's amazing here. Anyway, let me tell you my theory for eating on the move. The truth of the matter is, I doubt my ability to get back up again if I sit down for a very long period of time. And I know it's probably quite bad form to eat and walk and eat, but honestly, I think if I sat down there and enjoyed myself, I'd like some drink and the rest of it. <laughs> Might be game over, so I've made the executive decision to crack on. I hope that makes sense, I'm sure it does. Check that out for a sandwich. That's what I got in the cafe. It's great, isn't it? Lap 58, complete. Lap 59, complete. Lap 60, complete. Time for a coffee break, I think. Let's hit caffeine, I think, to get me going again. Got my coffee, and I want to say a huge thank you to the boys in Cafe Luke who are very kindly donating coffee to this weary traveler. Honestly, if you come to visit Gloucester, the cathedral, I highly recommend it. It's a nice little family run business. They do a great bacon sandwich and coffee. I'm not just saying that because I know they are. Honestly, check it out next time you're in town. Lap 61. A little bit windy, but lap 62, complete. Lap 63, done. Lap 64, done. I'll give you a little bit more of an update at lap 70, I think. Lap 65, done. 66, done. And that is 67, 68. Quick bathroom break in the cathedral and that is lap 69. And that's 70. Let me find somewhere to sit down and we'll have a quick chat, shall we? Right, so where are we at? 70 laps in. Shy of 36 kilometers, seven and a half hours, almost 50,000 steps. I'm not gonna lie to you, my feet are killing me. I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> it is not a walk in the park. But that being said, I've done most of it. So, another couple of hours, we should be there. Wish me luck. This is pretty much the first time I've sat down in seven hours. But I'll tell you what, taking the weight off my feet feels incredible. <laughs> that is 71. That, 72. It's dragging on a bit now. 
really starting to get uncomfortable and hurt now. And I think that I just need to break it down into chunks. Manageable. Just tick a lap off, tick a lap off. Aim for five, then another five, then another five. I don't want to give up on this. I don't. But it is tempting. And that is lap 73. One by one. Let's tick them off. 74. Another one under the belt. Probably wondering what lap I'm on. Let me give you a clue. Lap 76. Done. Tell me, what's the longest you've ever walked for in one go? I'm trying to get a gauge of how big a challenge this is in comparison to others. In the comments, let me know. 77. It's not getting any easier. So I need to sit down for a bit. I know it's windy, so this might not come out. The audio might be a bit rubbish, but I had to sit down for a minute. I'm in agony. Absolute agony. I'm conflicted because if I sit down for too long, I won't be able to get back up again. So I have to be really disciplined about just sitting down for 30 seconds, taking the weight off, and then going again. <laughs> I tell you what, trying to get going again is, uh... oh gosh, I'm creaky. It shouldn't be this difficult, should it? Walking? How long have I been going? Nearly eight and a half hours. Not to be sneezed at, I guess. 78. Two more laps and that'll be 80. And I'll have another little rest. Have a little sit down. Try not to fall asleep. I'll also give you a bit of an update. Time-wise, distance-wise, all that shenanigans. Sound good? Okay, stay with me. 79. And that's 80. I'm hurting, people, hurting. My feet are so sore. I genuinely don't know if I've got 20 more laps in me, but... What can you do? I guess you just keep walking until you can walk no more. It's the only answer. A little bit of update. 40 and a half kilometers. Eight hours 40. Eight hours 40. Bonkers. Just shy of 56,000 steps. And I can't sit down for too long, otherwise, I won't be getting up again. Let's crack on. Wish me luck. Oh. It's starting to look pretty amazing now, isn't it, in the uh, golden hour? feet are in pieces and I'm currently trying to decide whether or not it's a good idea to take my shoes off and go barefoot or well, that's just game over I'll report back I think in my head I know it's a bad bad decision I'm clutching at straws that is 82 <laughs> I'm hurting I really am one at a time. And this is why. This is where most people give up, and I'm not doing it. I'm not. Just one more. Just thinking, one lap increments. That's it. Although it feels a bit easier said than done at the moment, to be honest. That's 83. 17 to go. That's 84 done. And it's almost a little bit mad about it. it's starting to get dark now. Which you probably can't see in this camera because of the way the cameras work, but... 84. 16 to go. One lap at a time. That is 85. And the pace is slipping pretty dramatically now. <laughs> it's really getting to be a kind of a mind over body exercise. Do you know, last year I cycled from Land's End to John O'Groats. And that was one of the hardest things, actually no, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. But I'm getting the same sort of memories about how I was feeling towards the end of those days today. I'm hurting a lot. 
really a lot and I'm just gritting my teeth to try and get this done. One more down, 86. That is 87. And every part of my being wants to sit down and have a break for five minutes. Every part, except my brain, which knows that if I do that, I'm not getting up again, I'm not finishing this. Three more, then I'll have a rest for a minute. Three more. 88. And I've had to sit down. This 10 laps is gonna be hard work. Really hard work. Right, here's the plan. Two laps at a time. Break, two laps, break, two laps, break. Let's get this done. 89. My mood is not good. It's kind of mad that all the lights are on. It's dark now, although the camera doesn't really show it. I've been here a whole day while people have gone about their business. People have come to work, gone home. Got here when it's dark, or it's just really dark. It's dark again. I've been walking for just shy of 10 hours. I've covered just shy of 46 kilometers. 63,000 steps. Okay, oh God, let's go. Two more laps. I'm just gonna think in laps or two. That's it. It's kind of funny. Whilst I'm in a load of pain, the psychological impact of knowing that I'm in the home straight now. It's, it's, it's kind of like, it's like a pain relief, like a placebo that's making me feel a little bit better. I mean, I still hurt, but it's like a boost of positivity. If you look at my Strava, which I'll put in the link to in the description, my pace, I feel like has collapsed. Absolutely collapsed. I'm hobbling around now. This old guy just overtook me. He was like pulling away from me like a Formula One car on DRS. See? He only overtook me about 20 seconds ago. One thing I found on today is how many nice people chatted to me who have seen what I'm doing. There's a guy now who lives in this Miller's Green Square. I just showed earlier, it's a bit dark now, but He's like, oh, I'll get my dog, I'll come do a couple of laps with you. <laughs> the way I'm feeling at the moment, I need it. Just that distraction, you know? I mean, obviously when I edit this, you'll have no idea that there's been a huge gap in my filming. But I had, I had someone save my life today. <laughs> a guy called Nick, who works at the cathedral. Bumped into him when I was coming around. He's like, oh, I've got to walk my dog. Do you mind if I walk with you? And I tell you what, the last six laps or seven laps that you walk with me have flown by. I feel almost a million dollars. And I now know that I'm going to finish this. Whereas seven or eight laps ago, I wasn't that sure. Nick, if you watch this, you saved my life, buddy. Thank you. Right, two more to go, I think. I guess I should probably give you a bit of an update. I think I'm on 98 or 99. 70,000 steps. I've already done 50 kilometers. <laughs> Just shy of 11 hours, I mean, honestly. Almost there. That, 99 laps. One more to go. One more, and then I'll give you a bit of a breakdown. Now I'm gonna go and sleep for about 35 hours, I think. Totally mad. When I was walking with that guy, Nick, felt great. Now he's gone again. My legs, sorry, my legs, my feet feel like they weigh about 50 kilos each. And they've been stabbed with a thousand needles. The mind is such a funny thing, isn't it? Anyway, half a lap to go. That is the front door for the last time today, thankfully. <sighs> that is my finish line. <sighs> that was up there. Do you know what? That was up there with some of the hardest things I've ever done. These are my stats. 11 hours and three minutes. I'll flash up the rest of the stats on the screen in a 
a second. Thank you for watching. I feel terrible. Thank you for watching. If you want to support me, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I am going to try and think of some more challenges to do that hopefully a little less. That was fun and nutty. There'll be more challenges. Make sure you subscribe. And the catchphrase from all my previous videos, I won't see it tomorrow.